he, uh, everyone is kind of uh, surprised and shocked. And so it's just uh, kind of a sad feeling. It didn't take long for people in this Roseville neighborhood to realize something was wrong. We noticed that some people were standing outside and there were a whole bunch of cars parked in front of the house and on the street. FBI agents searched this home and this car last week. So much for our quiet neighborhood where nothing ever, nothing exciting ever happens, but I'm really sad to hear this. June Kilmer learned her neighbor, Dr. Kershid Hyder, was arrested on a charge of possessing child pornography. Hyder is a pulmonologist. His LinkedIn profile names him as vice president at V1 Health, a telehealth company based in Roseville. He was listed on the company's website as recently as June of this year, but today they told KCRA he's no longer working there. Online records show he was also affiliated with Dignity Health's telemedicine network and Mercy San Juan Medical Center, but Dignity Health says Says he hasn't been with them for several years. It's been nice having them as neighbors uh, while they've been here for several years now. So it was a surprise. Documents filed in federal court claim a search of Hyder's belongings uncovered more than 600 pictures and videos that depicted the sexual abuse of children, including children being subjected to bondage, domination, sadism, and masochism. Hyder is scheduled to be in court Thursday, as prosecutors now argue he should stay behind bars because he lives with young children and may pose a flight risk. But the doctor's defense attorney says that's not the case. He says Hyder wants to be here to fight this, and he also points out there's no evidence right now that Hyder's children have been harmed in any way. The state medical board tells us it's also aware of this case here in federal court and it does plan to investigate. Reporting here in Sacramento, Lizay Mitri, KCRA 3 News. The FBI says this investigation actually started in Honolulu. Agents say they arrested a suspect there, assumed that person's identity online, then came across post from Hader.